All right. Welcome, everyone. We have a few people coming on in for our four-day challenge. I'm Jennifer Britton. Want to welcome you. Hello. Welcome, Veronica. We've got you and Batool live. I am recording this, so just know that if you don't want to be on, please take off your video and make sure you also don't have a video element because I may still see your uh, photo, but it's great to have you here. Batool, I think it is you coming in. Haven't seen you in a few years, so thanks for taking time to join us. Veronica, how are you doing today? I'm very good. Thank you. How are you, and Jessica? Doing well, doing well. So it's always nice to have folks live on these. Uh, welcome. It is September 2024 for those that might be checking this out later or maybe during this week. Um, I am, I wear many hats, but I'm the founder uh, of a company called Potentials Realized. You probably know me better through our brand of group coaching essentials. And of course, I'm an author. I've written many books, including the world's first book on group coaching called Effective Group Coaching. So with that intro, here's the thing. Here's what we're going to be focusing on this week, which is really helping you as a coach dial into what you do best for more ease and flow. And almost two and a half years ago, I launched the Group and Team Coaching Superpower Quiz, which has now been taken by thousands of coaches, maybe like you. And my hope this week on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is to help you really dial in to your best abilities, because there's a lot going on in the world right now. And so we really, whether we're working in one-on-one -on -one capacity or coaching teams and groups like the folks you see here on the screen, we really want to be able to amplify our skills. So I'm going to be taking us through um, the challenge over the next four days. So this is going to be pretty crisp. Our live calls are going to run for about 20 to 30 minutes. If you are not able to join us each and every day, that's fine. Say hello to Jocelyn. Thanks for joining us, Jocelyn. We're recording this. So just to let you know, we're just getting started. Here's really what the purpose of the challenge is to help you activate your superpowers for greater profitability, your programs, and also your partnerships. And when I say partnerships, I mean even your self-partnership, right? It's great when we're able to leverage our skills as business owners, as coaches, and we want to make sure that we're also bringing that to the very different dynamics that we coach within. So that includes our clients. I consider our clients as partners, number one. And it may also, um, hopefully you're bringing into the room and bringing into this conversation, the notion of how are you also partnering with others, whether that's an organization or whether that is, you know, another business, because we show up as we are. And so the notion with the whole superpower quiz is it's really a strengths-based assessment. As I shared, I launched it about two and a half years ago. And what I've noticed in the thousands of people who have now taken the quiz is that it really helps them recognize what they're good at. And here's the challenge. In coaching many, in coaching groups and teams, we need to amplify our skills. We need to actually get better in all of them. So that led me to not only run an ICFCCE program, which has been running for three years, which is great, but I really wanted to get this whole framework out to the masses. And so this summer in 2020-24, I actually um, spent some time creating a new digital card deck. So we're actually over the next four days going to be using the Deckable app. Um, you don't have to have it, but if you want to, there's a three-day trial. You can go over to deckable.com, and I'll just go back here. You can actually scan this QR code, and it's going to take you right to the deck. The notion of presence is pretty critical in our work. And what I do find as a coaching supervisor is that a lot of coaches sort of invest in their reflection and in their presence for pretty specific bouts of time. Maybe it's the three months that you're doing mentor coaching. Maybe it's doing some work with a supervisor once a month or once a quarter. I would assert, as I have written in Coaching Business Builder many moons ago, it's the daily steps and consistent action that creates momentum. So that led me to to develop this card deck. We're going to go into it today in the digital format. If you don't have it, don't worry. I'll be sharing it on my phone and I'll take us off screen because I want to give you some momentum this week. I actually want to invite you to start building some daily practice around reflection and growth with your superpowers. 
So if you've never heard of the superpowers, that's fine. Today is really introducing those five different superpowers. As I said, you can use these in a one-on-one -on -one coaching environment with groups or with teams. And as we grow to groups and teams, we really want to be embodying all five different superpowers. They're different sort of beings, they're different energies, and different clients that we work with in the, the landscape of coaching many need all of them. As we progress through the week, I also want to sh shine the spotlight on helping you leverage your superpowers for business growth, because we are in, as always, there's always challenges and opportunities in the business world. And for those of us that have gone through many, many cycles, and many of you came into this work, even during the pandemic, um, you know, there's always opportunity for us to be doing things in an easier way, in a more targeted way that really leverages what we're good at. So I hope that you'll get some good value. Here's where we're going this week. Again, today is really looking at activating to amplify your superpowers. I do see the superpowers as sort of like a back pocket accelerant that we can use. And they don't have to always be back pocket. In fact, they could be on your app, which is why I really wanted to create the app this summer. And I'll be doing more of a deck demo tomorrow. Each day, what you can expect is some content. I invite you to bring a journal, maybe use this as your 20 to 30 minutes to think about things. I have some exercises that we'll dig into to give you some new insights that you can then put into action with your clients. So most days, except for tomorrow, except for Tuesday, we're gonna be meeting at 10 a.m. Tomorrow, I have a very important phone call with my parents, actually. My parents, my dad is in end of um, life stages right now. And so I've got a call booked with his care team at 10 a.m. So we're gonna meet tomorrow at 9 a.m., an hour earlier, but I'll be back on Wednesday and Thursday at 10. And these will be recorded. They'll go into YouTube. If you decide to uh, follow along and you're on our mailing list, which I'll include as a link, um, please join us because I'll be giving out some gift certificates to future programs for those on the list. So we're going to get started. And I want you to think about like you and your evolution as a coach, whether you've been coaching for a year, for five years, for 10 years, for 20 years, our mastery and growth continues. And some of you know that a few years ago, two years ago, I launched the Amplify Mastermind, and it focuses on helping coaches grow in five main areas. We're going to be touching on all of these this week. So you don't have to just join me in the, the mastermind, which really become sort of a framework that's trickling out onto all things, including this card deck, because in helping coaches be more successful in the landscape of coaching many over the last 20 years now, it's not just about dialing in your skills, right? Yes, skills are important. Yes, our toolkit is important, but there's a whole other element. There's a partnering element. How do we really adjust our approaches to meet the needs, meet the changing needs of our clients. And that is pretty dramatic, right? Think about the work that you're doing this year compared to last year, compared to even two or three years ago. My guess is the context that your clients are in is changing. Does it mean that our skills change? Not necessarily, but it may mean that the way we are coaching, the how we are coaching also shifts. And that for me has been pretty interesting to look at like how we've been physical, digital, in the hybrid space. And certainly my clients are definitely with tools like the card deck, they're looking for things that are faster, quicker, easier. Hence having an app on their phone or as I have not yet unboxed from Friday, they also like the card decks. So I'll be bringing the card decks physically this week into the room, not today. Now, Coach Mastery is also about business growth. So how are you continuing to grow your business? Some of you have joined me over the years at the Coaching Biz Growth Lab. That's an annual group that meets twice a month on Fridays. We're going to be continuing into 2025. And what I'm excited about for 2025 is a continuation of monthly events. So for example, next week, we're doing our quarterly review. We're going to be continuing to really get into work sessions that are short because we don't have a lot of time. So with that in mind, I'm going to get straight to the meat of everything, but I want to give you this framework because part of this week is really about helping you become more masterful with yourself. It's about self-development and understanding and knowing who you are so that you're really able to adjust your style for the needs of the diverse teams and groups and people that you work with. And it is that ability to really shift 
that can help us expand our range, as I like to say. So this is a short video that um, actually one of my mentors, Rosie Batista, who helped me get this deck, not just into physical form, but into, into the deckable form. She created it for me when I actually got the deck done about a month ago. So it's just 12 seconds. It's going to just give you a lay of the land of the energy of this deck. So as you can see, very colorful, very vibrant, just like all of you listening in are very colorful and vibrant in different ways. So I want to introduce you very quickly to the five different superpowers. Again, this is not a I need to fit in one bucket framework. In fact, as coaches of many, we need to be growing our skills and our being, our presence in all of these different areas. So throughout this week, I'm going to be referring to these as we go, and it can be useful to have this framework in mind. So first of all, we have the Spiral Lighthouse Coach. And if you are one of these, I'll invite you to put it in chat or raise your hand digitally as we go. And the Spiral Lighthouse Coach, which actually, as research is showing, so um, I'll be bringing later this week some of the latest data. We've had thousands of people take the Superpower Quiz over the last two and a half years, and there's some really interesting data sets that I want to share with you. They're shifting a little bit, and not surprised with that, given that the world of our clients is also shifting. But I would say a majority of coaches who have taken this quiz are either, uh, you know, as a primary or secondary spiral lighthouse coach. Those coaches love to work on layers like a lighthouse. They are really attuned to creating that harbor of trust, safety and connection. They're also usually very good at working with clients around different layers of a situation, maybe doing some work around perspective based coaching like balance coaching. If you're a coactive coach, you'll know what that term means. But the idea is with a spiral, think about the spiral staircase in a lighthouse. You can actually look at a certain point on the wall. And as you're going up or even going down, you're going to be seeing that point or what's outside that window from many different perspectives. And that could be extremely powerful especially in a, a moment or an era where things are changing dramatically. And think about the world of your clients and the work of your clients. Maybe that is your context. So we're gonna be looking and in the card deck that we're gonna be exploring this week, there are cards specifically geared to the Spiral Lighthouse Coach. The second most popular approach that we've seen through the research of the thousands that have taken this so far is the ecosystem connector coach. So a lot of you maybe have already done systemic tr um, training of some sort, whether you went through the ORSC methodology, ORSC being organization and relationship systems coaching work over the years. Maybe you jumped into team systemic coaching. The strength of ecosystem connectors is they naturally see the webs of life, of results, of connections of the world. And so they are often driven. And when I say driven, they really see the world through these webs. And that could be so important when we show up to build that trust, safety, and connection within teams or groups that we're working with. So just a quick hands up if you are an ecosystem connector, because you're joining a pretty solid base where about... 20, I think it was when I last did it 18 months ago, there was about 24% of people were ecosystem connectors, 32% were spiral lighthouse. And again, it's not a primary only, you may have a blend of these skills. Third area is the grounded labyrinth. And the grounded labyrinth coach is really deeply an embodiment coach. Their superpower is activating pause, mindfulness, and often somatic or body-centered coaching approaches. This is something that during the pandemic, especially, we lost touch with. And this is an area that many of our clients are asking for more. How do we, or how do you as a coach, how do you help us as clients create more of that space for a breath, for a pause, for getting back in tune with our body, with our surroundings? So maybe this is a strength of yours. We're going to move very quickly to the fourth category, which is the catalytic firecracker. 
almost a complete opposite of that deep grounded labyrinth type energy connected maybe with the ground. In the catalytic firecracker, we go to the sky and it's about really that bold energy. The catalytic firecracker energy is also connected with taking action in a coaching process. It's about being bold. It's about moving the envelope. It may also be about working with your clients around planning doing work around business metrics. So there are some schools of thought and many of our client bases that are like, we need more of this, even in dialing down, uh, whether it's productivity or whether it's time, whatever the metric is, many of our client organizations are really having the hue and cry around this. So you may be learning and wanting to grow in this area as well. The final area is the creative tool master. And so many of you might be like me, really engaged in weaving together different approaches. The creative tool master also might be the one of all of these different types of coaches that has their pulse on creating vibrant coaching cultures. So what are you doing to help organizations integrate coaching in many different ways? Maybe not just working with leader as coach, but also um, coaching people through the myriad of areas. So invite, who are you and what do you want to embody more of? That is going to be the question I'm going to be asking each and every day during this week. And so you can choose something. Um, we're going to be using the app. And I think maybe this is a good opportunity to go in there again Here's an intro. We've just gone through the five. Here's the way you may see them on the app. So I, we talked a little bit about the Spiral Lighthouse coach. You can meet Joanne. You can also meet Maggie, who's a grounded labyrinth coach. You can meet Marva, who's our catalytic firecracker coach. And the fun thing about this deck that we're going to be working with, and I'm going to be pulling cards so you don't have to have it, but again, if you want it, go and actually just head on over to Deckable. You can get a three-day free trial. And what is nice about this is it shows up on your phone. So I'm going to stop my share just so everyone can see me. And what I've done, Deckable is an app. So you're going to actually go and download the app. I'm just going to go to my phone right now. You'll see it's 1018. We're going to play with this for about 10 minutes. Um, once you get to Deckable, it's going to invite you and you can go to Deckable on your laptop, but just know that at present, your Deckable app will live on your phone. So a few weeks ago, I did the 90 day guide for success challenge. You can look that up. That's a, a deck for new employees, for teams, for new leaders who really want a daily practice of 30 days. We're actually going to go into the activate deck. So I'm going to just, there are many, many different things. Every day we're going to do a different thing. But what you can do is you can either browse it. And when we browse the cards, they actually show up one by one. So welcome to the Activate deck. And again, this has been built out with the notion of training tens of thousands of coaches for the last two decades of my life. And the idea here is to really help you activate your superpowers. So one of our principles is about bringing all voices into the room. And before we go any further, I want you to dial in to thinking about who is a client that you're working with right now. Maybe you have a group, maybe you have a, um, a team that's launching, maybe it's just a one-on-one -on -one client. I want to invite you to think about what do they need from you? What type of energy is going to support them? Is it more of that grounded labyrinth, creating a safe space? Is it the bold energy of the catalytic firecracker? Perhaps it's the um, uh, labyrinth energy, I think I just said, or the ecosystem connector, right? So really connecting people deeply. What I'm going to do, we can view every card on a canvas. I'm going to actually just randomly drag some cards up and we're going to work with those today. So this is where you're, want, you're going to want to grab your journal. I'm going to go with the five card spread and I'm literally going to just shuffle, which is a little button here. It allows me to shuffle the cards so you can see how the cards are literally being shuffled as we speak. I'd like that. You can play it again. 
Again, you can do this yourself. And now we're going to pick some cards. So you'll see all the cards of the deck. There's 63 different cards at the bottom. There's a front, there's a back, and there's also a little video on each card. So the thing that I like about it is this is a tool that coaches can use as a self-guided tool. And you might be saying, but what about my clients? So that's where the 90 day guide for success card deck comes in. That's a card deck for our clients. But for us, when we're looking to grow our range, we're going to want to play with this. So what I'm going to do, there's five spaces up there. I'm going to grab a card of each color just pretty randomly. So I'm going to put this one up here. OK, I'm also going to grab another one. And I'll do the, I'll just do a pick again. I'm going by colors. So again, we talked about the five colors. So I've got now the yellow. I'm going to go for the green, which is, of course, our ecosystem connector. And I think the color we're missing is our creative tool master. So I'm going to go through these one at a time. And what you'll see, let's start with the creative tool master overview. And I'm going to just make it a bit bigger for us. You may need to increase your screen resolution, but here is Lauren and Lauren is a creative tool master coach. Again, as a coach, we don't want to just box ourselves into one area. We want to think about how do we cultivate all of these. So invitation for you to think about these three words. What are you doing right now that is helping you be creative, access resources, and be a provocateur? So I'm going to give you 30 seconds to think about how are you being creative? What resources are you accessing? And what are you doing to be a provocateur? OK, so those are three questions right now for you to think about. Just 30 seconds. I'm going to see if I can bring up my timer on the app. Yeah, but again, can I just can I disturb you a little bit? You sure can, but to well, go ahead while I'm bringing the, the app up. Yeah, I tried to download the app, the app, but I went for Dickable. It gives me another one. It's not the one which are you, you are using. Okay, so in the Deckable store, there's hundreds of decks. So you're going to want to look up my name and you'll want to look up the Activate deck. That's the short form. What I'll do in the YouTube and in the email is I'll send you the link to that. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay, yeah. And then you should be able to do a, a free trial on any deck of your choosing. Hopefully you'll, you'll choose this one. What I'm going to give us now is just a minute. And hopefully this timer will show up on your screen. And so I want you to think about these questions of how are you being creative right now? What resources are you accessing? And how are you being a provocateur? When you think about the word provocateur, maybe you're not familiar with provocateur, but that really is a short form for how do you prompt your clients? How do you provoke your clients? Now, of course, we want to provoke our clients, hopefully towards their big agenda. But what are you doing to be that provocateur? I'll be quiet now for 27 seconds while you're away. All right, so that is a minute. And again, what I love about this whole deck, once you're able to get in there, you can actually hit the bottom button and there's gonna be a little journal function that comes up. So while we were working, I could have started reflecting on creative resources and provocateur. And any of your journaling notes actually will show up after the fact. What I want to do instead, though, right now is just read you the card for some more elements, because the notion here in this challenge is to get you doing something every day. So here's a little bit more about the Creative Tool Master. Think about how you might be bringing this into your conversations today. They bring a gift of integration and weaving many ideas to create something with their clients. Now, they are known often as the chameleon. And their characteristics are that they're very creative, 
and are also an integrator. Their coaching priority or their focus with clients is to create creative spaces. They may also use somatic approaches. So somatic approaches could be, this is a great example, right? Using a card deck. It could be getting people up and moving. Now, the thing with creativity is sometimes it's ahead of the curve, just like these card decks on an app are. So it's really interesting. And it's even, it, it really brings me back to where group coaching was 20 years ago. When I talk about group coaching, people are like, what, how do you, how do, you do this? But now we know how to do it. And so I think for creative tool masters, sometimes you may be ahead of the curve. And sometimes you may be ahead of the curve of your client. So you need to dial it back, which is why rather than just introducing the deck, I'm also doing this four day challenge to just give people an opportunity to start navigating. It may take a couple of days to really start figuring out how to use this deck. Now, one last piece I wanna leave you before we move to another card is the Creative Tool Master. One of their coaching priorities is helping people stay in their stretch zone. So that's a bit of an inquiry for you today. What is going to get your clients into their stretch zone? So if you have the app, take some notes in your journal. I'm just going to put a note here so that it's going to show up as you'll see. And I'm going to say we discussed the creative tool master with creativity. And I'm going to put the word provocateur here because I do go back to my app at the end of the day and sort of think about what, what's going on. It's, it's a, a great record for me to actually uh, think about what is happening. So we did Lauren. I'm gonna just do two cards. I've put her out of the way and I'm now gonna bring up Allie. And so Allie is an ecosystem connector. Allie's a project manager. There's three sides to Allie's card on this one. And again, I'll see if I can link in tomorrow to get the cards, the way Deckable is structured is you can't have it on a desktop, but you can have it on a phone, but it will not sync to Zoom, which is interesting. But here's the thing, five words for you to notice with Ecosystem Connector, relationships, systems, connection, co-creation, collaboration, and ecosystem. So I wanna give you a minute I'll read these again. How are these elements showing up in your world of work right now? Or what might you do to amplify it? Expand on this. So the words again are relationships, systems, connection, co-creation, collaboration, and ecosystem. I'll invite you for the next 40 seconds. Take some notes. What might you do? How might you activate that? in service to your client conversations this week. All right. I love this new Zoom timer. I love it. It's fantastic. So if you were, if you had more time and we're not going to do it right now, but just note that you could actually tap the card. It's going to give you the option to flip the card. And also you can meet Ali. Sorry about the glare, but you can also watch a short video on Ali. So I'm going to come up when you hit the video, you'll actually see a one minute video me talking about this. I'm not going to show it, but just know that that piece is also available to you in the app. And the beauty of it is, it's almost like you can think about this on a daily basis. Take a minute, five minutes a day to really be expanding your range. It is all about presence. So I think for today, it's now 1030. Notice the time that we've put in. Save your app. If you are actually using this on the phone, I want you to make sure that you save it because it's going to show up in your layout, which is the really, really nice thing. 
So I would love to hear from anyone who is with us live, what is your takeaway from today? What did you learn about yourself? What did you learn about even technology or the superpowers? Be great if anyone would love to unmute and let us know what your learning was for today. I know we've got Batool, and I don't know, Batool, if you were able to eventually get that app, but feel free to head on over to Deckable and move around. Jocelyn or Veronica, anything you want to share as we go to wrap up today's call? No, I just, uh, I think I would, I would like to download the app and have a look to it because, uh, yeah, it's all a bit new and I have to, like, get my mind around it. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow because I will be, like, more prepared, like. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, and I think we're a good example of how do you introduce new ideas, new concepts, new techniques. It takes a couple of days, right? And so tomorrow, come with your app if you have time to download it. Um, again, come with a journal. We're going to do a couple of journaling prompts like we did. And so we'll go through a similar structure. Just a reminder, tomorrow we'll start an hour earlier at 9 a.m. So Jocelyn, good to see you. Anything yes, you want to well. share about what you're taking from today's call? Uh, the same. I need to download the app and get familiar. <laughs> yeah, get familiar. So there's a learning curve, which is why yeah. tomorrow we'll actually do a demo. So if you can bring the mm -hmm. app, again, you should have access to a token for a free trial. And you're going to look for the activate, I'm going to share my screen so that you can actually get the QR code again. Um, it should come back to the one at the front here. So right, that might be the biggest one. Um, thank you all. But who will anything you want to mention before we go to wrap up? Yeah, thank you very much. I just want to ask again. So I just go to Decable yep. cards. And then under that, I need to search for your name. Search for my name. So search for Jennifer or yeah. search for activate deck so you're finding me now no i did not find activate okay. deck yeah it's I'll also known as the activate your team and group coaching superpowers if you're able to scan the qr code scan this i'll put the long link in as well if you're on the newsletter i'll put that on i'll be sending this out i'm also going to put it up into the cloud so if there is a day that you can't join us live definitely follow along on youtube Thank all right very, thank you yeah. all We're very traditional so i want the long link yeah you want the long you know everyone yeah. does different things so i'll send the yeah. long link i'll yes, also yes. embed it into tomorrow's slides the super long link thank the, you the yes. final way too is just go to your search function and you can like i would google google deckable jennifer Britton, and it's the activate deck the other deck is the deck, which is the 90 day guide that is for our clients. So this week we're focusing on ourselves, giving ourselves the gift of expanding our range as clients. All right. Sounds good. Jennifer, you said three days, it's free. And then after that, it's all free. Yeah. So three days on Deckable is free. Yeah. Just follow their instructions. They'll send you like, I am not connected to Deckable. It's a whole ecosystem that's like not managed okay. by our company, but they do a three day from people who have accessed it that way, they get a little prompt, I think every day, hey, have you used it? Have you downloaded it? And then after three days, they'll ask you if you wanna purchase it, but you should have three day free trial, no strings attached. Okay, okay. thank you. All right, yeah. enjoy everyone and hope to see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern. Be well, take thank care. Thank you, Jennifer, thank you. See you, bye.